Hello and welcome back to the Lunch Pail Labs channel. Today we're going to dive into spinning up a Zapier app with the platform CLI. So those were a lot of words. Basically, if you're not familiar, Zapier is a tool for automating workflows. It has a massive ecosystem of over 6,000 apps. So if you are a leader or owner of a software company, a SaaS company, especially one that serves other businesses and professionals, oftentimes building an official integration for Zapier will enable all sorts of workflows for your for your end users. They can automate easily through a no-code interface, use your app within and connect it to all the other apps they use, which has all sorts of fun business benefits. And with Zapier, there are two different approaches you can use for building a Zapier app. That's the platform UI and the platform CLI. The platform UI is actually going to be a visual interface for building Zapier apps, for building your official integration. I'll walk you through things step by step. The platform CLI is going to be the way that you can still create integrations both relatively equally as powerful with both approaches, but platform CLI, that's going to be in the command line. That's going to be for folks who feel more comfortable with coding or want to build apps in their general engineering workflows. Today, we're going to do all of this with the platform CLI, just walking through the basic setup, and there will be subsequent tutorials where we actually go end to end building a full Zapier app. So that is the intro. And with that said, let's get into it. All right, all right, I'm in Visual Studio Code. One thing that you'll want to check before you even really dive into the platform CLI are the system requirements. One thing to note as of right now is that to use Zapier's platform CLI, you need to be on Node version 18. So if you don't have Node version 18, you're gonna have to download it first. And for me, I do have node version 18, but it's not my default node version. So I'm gonna have to do something here called to switch, use NVM to switch my node versions. Awesome. And then we can start with some of the commands to use Zapier CLI. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you install Zapier CLI. So for that, npm install. That will add Zapier to your environment so that you'll have all of the fun different commands that make spinning up applications simple in Zapier. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next, you're going to want to log in. I'm already logged in, so you will not be seeing my credentials on screen. But if you, this is your first time here, um, you'll say Zapier login. You'll put your email address, you'll put your password. If you use Google log sign on like I do, or any single sign on to get into Zapier like I do, you'll actually use Zapier login SSO. And then you'll have to generate a deploy key. It gives you the link right here to generate the deploy key. I don't need to do any of that because I am already signed into Zapier. Zapier. And then really the main command to spit up the whole scaffolding and shell and template for a new app is Zapier in it. And then you can name your app. So demo app is what I'm calling this. You can call it whatever name of the integration, whatever you'd like, and it's gonna create the folder for you. Then you have, you get to choose a variety of different project templates, some based on the type of authentic authentication that you're going to do. I like to just start with minimal, but there's a ton of templates here. So we'll just go minimal. Great, and it's creating all of these files. And really the last step is just opening opening up what we just built. So we can just 
you know, uh, have this open here, open, we have this file demo app, boom, and we are in our demo app. And you'll notice that, that there are a few files here. So we have example test, which is the really cool thing about Zapier's developer tools. So they just have so, they really help you get along the way very quickly. So you have, they'll automatically spin up tests. There are commands for building new actions and triggers, but this is what you, you get just kind of at the outset build, especially when you use the minimal templates, basically what the minimal template looks like. You've got module exports, triggers, you'll have your triggers here, your searches, creates resources. It's pretty Spartan at this point because there's not really much, much going on here, but that's really about it. So in the, in a future video, we'll go end to end. This is just a simple walkthrough. If you too would like to use the platform CLI to create a Zapier setup so you can start developing, that's really it for me. Thanks for tuning in and catch you in the next one.